I feel like I have monster bags right now. I think it's just the lighting. But do you guys see that? Is that coming on my camera? It's like, like huge bags. Okay, I think that's just the lighting though. So. If you see that, I'm sorry. Today's video is going to be a review on the Mega Last Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Mega Last. I should say it like that. Um, lip, lip glosses. They like. I just spit when I said that. That's really attractive. Um, I, when you, I can't talk today. Anyway, um, you put it on as a gloss and then it dries to a matte. And I was requested to do this video by Selena, so thank you for requesting it. And I was introduced by these to these by um, I, I don't know her actual name, but her channel is Fallon's channel. I can link it below if you guys want to go check it out. She does a lot of beauty videos, so I'll go check her out. And uh, she introduced me to these, and so I wanted to try them because I thought the idea was so cool. I've never had that before. So I got these a long time ago, and they're very cheap. They're like. $2.90 something, so about $3, um, which I think is a great price. But I'm going to get into the positives and negatives of these after I tell you which ones I have. I have um, Cherry on top, which is a dark, very pretty red color. It's gorgeous. And then the Rose to the Occasion, beautiful color. Um, and those are the two that I have. They have a bunch of different colors, so if these are not your cup of tea, they have more. So I don't have too much to say about these other than the fact that I only wear these in videos because I can only stand to have this on my lips for like an hour um, or maybe like two hours because the formula personally drives me insane. It is like I don't know it's like the color is beautiful like the color is gorgeous it's so pigmented for a three dollar like lip color it is so pigmented but the formula when it dries you have to be really careful how you put it on because if you put it on screwy then you're basically screwed you have to be very careful with the way that you put it on um, which I'll demonstrate for you guys in a little bit but it's just, it's very, it's very, like, you can't rub your lips together. Even after it's mattified, to me, you cannot rub your lips together because it, like, ruins the formula and it, like, sticks together and it's very sticky. And it's just an, an annoying feeling, um, in my opinion. Um, but like I said, for $3, you have to sacrifice something. So that would be the, um, you know, the comfortableness of it. So I'm going to put them on now. I don't know which one, um... I'll do the, the pink one right now, and I will put it on for you. This is what the applicator looks like, which I like. I, I mean, it's like a kind of, I don't know how you describe this, but it's just a flexible little, I want to say doe foot, but I don't think that's a doe foot. I don't know. So when applying, I like to take off most of the product, and it's so hurting, it's so hurting. And I have to like talk like this for like five minutes so it dries. I know, it's embarrassing. So now I'm just gonna let it dry, so I'll just get in it. Okay, it's pretty mattify, it's already annoying me. I'm just being honest, it's just the formula, just I don't like the formula, and it's already on my teeth because it flakes off because the formula just it is flaky. Like it's already oh look. <laughs> this is so attractive. It's already on my teeth everywhere. It's flaking right there. I see that. Okay, I'm sorry. This, these are just some attractive angles I'm giving you today. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but like I have like automatically like want to rub my lips together. It's just, I don't know. It's just something and it's like, let's see, I just ruined it. It is all flaky. Look at the, it's like flaking off. So like I said, I can only wear this for a video because one, I don't want to go out in public worrying about if there's like pink chunks of like gloss matte lipstick or whatever you want to call it on my teeth. I don't want to deal with that because it's covered right now. It's all over my teeth. It's really gross. And it's just, I do not like this formula at all. It's very hard to get off as well, which could be a good or bad thing in your opinion. But see, just like talking to you right now, it looks totally fine. But if I were to go out in public, this would drive me insane. 
um, just totally insane because it's just, oh, look at my teeth, my teeth, I, I don't know if you can tell, tell, they are covered in pink flakes, and I'm just not a fan of that, um, so I'm going to show you how difficult it is to remove it, like I said, could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. You and I could do anything we please You got the face to fit the frame I cannot look away like can't you Personally, I think the only thing really going for these is the color that you get. I don't really like anything else about it, just the color. Um, it looks good if you're doing something for a short amount of time and for $3. Hi guys, so I'm sorry this is kind of a weird little add-on, but I forgot to do the kiss test for you, um, so I'm going to do that right now. This is after it's dried and everything. Yeah, a lot of... See, just a lot of the flaking, it's the same thing that I've been telling you guys. Yeah, just, just flakes, which is good. I mean, that's not that bad though, so I guess it's another thing that's pretty good about it. Um... I just, if there was no flakes, because I have red flakes all over my teeth right now. So if there wasn't that problem, I feel like I could get past the feeling of it. But it's like, I can't constantly be worrying about things on my teeth all day. So, yeah. Anyway, get back to the original clip. I think I will get my use out of them because when I film, you guys love to see the bright colors. And you guys, I get compliments on them, which is always great to have compliments, you know. Um, but I just could not wear this out in public. It would drive me crazy. So if you can, if you guys have any like tricks or something, because I know sometimes people have tricks for those types of things so it can stop flaking or do something, leave it below because personally I apply as carefully as I can. I don't put a, a really thick layer on, um, so I don't think that's the problem. So I don't really know. I'm just not a fan of these um, for like everyday long wearing type of thing. They would just annoy me too much. So so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys want me to review anything else, please let me know. I want you guys to know the beauties and everything, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!